Oh, wow. He kicked that train. Either Back. that guy is super strong uh-huh. and quick. You cannot, you cannot tell or, whether that is real or, or not. Or it's AI. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's tough to this. tell. Here we go. Okay. All right, watch you think again. he's just going to pick the kid up off the... Nope. Oh. <laughs> he goes the other way and just kicks the train <laughs> backwards. 100%, <laughs> man. So, so Hillary, is that real? Do you know? Can you tell from like that? I feel like this is the best use of AI right now. <laughs> <laughs> the memes, the video, like, this is what we should be using it for. But unfortunately, yes. people We're are not. using it for far worse things, which is <laughs> what I'm here to talk about. So, yay. Yay. <laughs> um, because I'm sure all of you heard about what happened with Taylor Swift. There was a, a there were deep fake porn images and video of Taylor Wait, Swift. those were fake? Those yeah. Were fake. What's crazy if you've ever wondered about how quickly things circulate on social media, just one of those fake images of Taylor Swift was seen 47 million times Whoa. on X before it was removed and it was only up for about 17 hours. And so it got to yeah. the point where you couldn't even search for the for Taylor Swift's name on Twitter. That's right. So if you were looking for her name mm. or anything to do with her, you couldn't find it, it because down. X took it down. They were trying to keep yeah. it from circulating even more widely than it already did. Well, mm-hmm. nobody's ever I mean, searching I, for Taylor Swift, period. Yeah, Correct. I mean, nobody, and I mean, what's interesting, that website that initially published these images of her, they've done this with lots of celebrities before. Ooh. And Taylor had even considered legal action against them back in 2011 they posted a photo of her wow. that was topless, but obviously it was not her. So this has been a, an Are ongoing you me problem. This wasn't her. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Jeffy feels duped. <laughs> Looking for evidence. Well, I have a video of how good the deep fake technology is. If we want to run a clip of yeah. that. All right. Oh boy. Today I learned that this new viral beauty filter was created using machine learning. Unlike traditional beauty filters that use an augmented 3D face mesh that is overlaid on top of your face, filters like Bold Glamour, Teenage Look, uses a machine learning tech called GAN, meaning every pixel on your face is regenerated and then outputted after referencing another data set of images, which is why the filter looks so realistic. That is all. This is Zinksta, over and out. Right. That's... Uh, dramatic yeah. and amazing. It isn't is. It? I mean, it looks, I, I showed it to wow. my husband and he was like, I can't tell which is, is the, the real, real girl. Yeah. Like, yeah. which one is she? Right. Because right. there were like three different things. And so it's incredibly convincing. Mm. So people in Washington are finally trying to do something about this. Mm. Yeah. So it's called the Defiance Act. It was introduced by Senate Judiciary <laughs> right. Committee Chairman Dick Durbin, Lindsey Graham, uh, Senator Josh Hawley, and then Senator Amy Klobuchar. And Durbin said, sexually explicit deep fake content, it's often used to exploit and harass women, particularly public figures, politicians, and celebrities. Although the imagery may be fake, the harm to the victims from the distribution of these explicit deep fakes is very real. So it would enable yeah. people who are victims of this to be able to take civil action against anybody that produces mm. it, possesses it with the intent to distribute it. But you've got to oh. find them. But you've got to find you them. you got to find them. I mean, that's like the, you know... Erectile yeah. dysfunction stuff. Right. I mean, you got to find and the, them. the facial cream. Everybody's yeah. quitting and stopping yeah. whatever they're doing to sell facial cream. Uh, but And the Bill O'Reilly thing. Yeah. That was erectile dif- yes, dysfunction, it was. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so just finding whoever makes it. Well, yeah. And that's the problem right now. In most countries, the only way you can prosecute is if you can prove somebody did this as a revenge porn thing. Mm. But that's not the case if they don't know you. Right, and so right. that's... That's the even bigger issue is, you know, it used to only happen to public figures and celebrities, but now it's happening to to everyday people. Mm. And the Daily Mail put themselves online. Yes. Mm -hmm. Daily Mail covered this. There was a woman who was just she happened to be on X one day and got a notification of a video. She clicked on it. It was a video of her Uh. in a sexually explicit video. But she was like, it's she was so confused because she was like, I I've never seen this man before. I don't know what's going on. But she said it was definitely me. And I was so you know how many times I've said it. that? <laughs> Hold no, on. The, the, that's the, not me. The Defiance Act <laughs> you talking about? that you just referenced. So it's not only the creation, mm. but it's also the possession of. Yes. Jeffy. So <laughs> it says if you received the deep fake images knowing the victim did not consent, then you can be held liable. Yeah, but how would you know? Okay. How would you know? Okay. Right. Uh, it, for instance, if you got Taylor Swift deep, deep fakes, you don't know for sure whether she said it's okay or not, right? I mean, 
<laughs> That's you the don't thing. know for sure. You don't know. Strange law. Yeah, it was right. very weird. Well, it's interesting. There was and even if you. I'm sorry, but even if you yeah. own your name, image, and likeness, mm-hmm. you still have to prove that they were abusing it, right? Yeah. I, mean, that, I don't know. Go ahead. Well, if they're alleging it's you, and you've never posed naked, and they're showing naked, then I mean that. Then it is. Then it is. Yeah. But you don't know. Yeah, okay. That's, well, I, what I, a weird. I don't want men to think you're immune because this is happening to men as well. We hear about it mm. with women far more often, but mm-hmm. it is happening and with I men as well. And I hate it. Man, <laughs> do I hate it, Hillary. <laughs> I'm with you 100%. <laughs> I can tell that you're real. You're going to join, yeah. oh, join all the rallies. I am, and you're I gonna... am sick of seeing it. I'll it's tell you that. It's going to be a new Jeffy Giad. <laughs> right soon. Right? Soon. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I thought this was very interesting. There was a, a study done. It was released to the Associated Press by an independent researcher named Genevieve O. Oh, and she said more than 143,000 new deepfake videos were posted online just last year. And oh, that surpasses wow. every other year combined, yeah, which is a lot of worst. stuff. And then 96% of deepfake, deepfake videos were non-consensual pornography. So that's a lot of people who... Nine, 96%. 96%. <sighs> Mm. So it's pretty terrifying. But there mm. are, like I said, there are people in Washington trying to do something about it. Yeah. Um, Congressman Tom Keene Jr., he's calling for safeguards to combat this trend. And then Kareem so Jean-Pierre. What are the safeguards? Uh, well, what are the safeguards? I mean, I, 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 I can appreciate it. You know, we had the tech CEOs in D.C. And they, you know, are all saying that they're trying to do something. And, you know, maybe I believe half of what they say. But I don't know that I want D.C., Mm-hmm. The government. Into yeah. It. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I also think, too, you know, a great example is these deep fake images of Taylor Swift are allegedly they were created by Microsoft tools. And so Lester mm. Holt sat down with the CEO of Microsoft and asked him Amen. about it. And we Lester have a clip Holt. of what he had to say. Oh, okay. Does it give you pause as to what the potential and how far you can take this? Absolutely. In the sense that one of the things that I I feel that's very healthy is we're not just talking about all of the things this new technology can do, but we're also talking about the unintended consequences. So basically, I mean, he said, yes, it's alarming and it's disturbing, but then he didn't really pledge any concrete change or... He can't. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think you make your Microsoft tool inoperable at that point if you yeah. take away the ability to design. Mm-hmm. Well, and also one thing that I think people should be aware of and why this is happening to just everyday people whose photos were lifted or videos were lifted from Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. There is there are a lot of these websites, but there's one in particular that advertises you can see any girl oh. clothless. <laughs> With the click of a button. So that's what popped up on the screen earlier. Yes. It says, Joe. see anyone nude. <laughs> and a standard package on the site, it allows you to generate 100 images Whoa. per month for $29.95. Oh, while $99 will get you a premium <laughs> of 420 Is there a promo it's code? A little steep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, I mean, that's wow. if there's just anybody. This is just that, new reality. We're just going to yeah. have to accept it. This is our new reality, man. Yes. So it's it's sad because I think there are a lot of everyday people who all of a sudden are going to find out or may never no find question. out yeah. that these things are out there featuring them. Wow. Yeah, so, well, that's the thing. They may yeah. never find out. But right. look, what's his face? Uh, former head of Google, Eric Schmidt, said 15 years ago yeah. that people are going to want to, they're going to need to have Name two change. identities. Yeah. They're going to oh, yeah. need to have their online identity. Right, because of everything they've identity. done online. That's correct. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's common. Mm-hmm. Well, yep. people are trying. There are some people that we have elected to office that are trying to do some things about it. At least they're mm-hmm. well, it's on their radar and they're trying to address it and figure it out. But again, like we've talked about, it's trying to track down where it originated from yeah. and prosecute those people. And a lot of times, it's originating from overseas and other countries. It's those and what, what do you do, those bastards? So, Jeffy, uh, is, is your reality? <laughs> Worse, offline or online? Like, where would you need the name change more?